Good morning. Today I'm going to look at another Fortran situation. This involves some arithmetic. The reason that I'm wanting to do this is to introduce a couple of new programming ideas and also as a caution about the nature of floating point arithmetic. As before, I'm going to add up 1 over i squared for the first 10,000 values of i. Assuming that I haven't made any typographical errors or other syntax errors, let's see what we get. And no problems there. So, so far all is good. I did the cut and paste thing to make a copy of the work that I've just done so that I can modify it a little bit. In this second block of code, I'm going to be adding up the same numbers, except I'm adding them up in the opposite order. From the point of view of algebra, I should get exactly the same answer. Let's see what happens. The advertisement again. And you'll notice something that's a little troubling here. The answers are very similar, but not the same. The exact reason for this if you're taking a numerical methods class, will be explained when you talk about floating point arithmetic. Right now, I just want to become a little bit paranoid. I'm going to have a new variable, s old. Right before I update variable s, I'm going to save its value into s old and then compare the old value to the updated one. The new value of s should be strictly bigger than the old value, so I'm going to check and see if by some weirdness or the other that wasn't true. In particular, I'm going to check to see if they're equal to each other. s equal equal s old here. This gives me an excuse to tell about the if-then statement as well. That clause logically should never get executed. As you can see, there is a great deal of weirdness going on. I wonder if there's any weirdness going on when I add it up in the reverse order. Doing the cut and paste thing again, let's see what happens. There's a lot of trouble with that usual sum. It looks as though there wasn't with the reverse sum, though. Obviously, there's something funny going on here. What exactly? We'll talk about another time. The point so far is we can add stuff up in one order. We can add it up in the other order. We don't necessarily get the same result. And we know about if-then statements now. This is all I'm going to talk about in this one. I hope everybody has a good day. I'll talk to you again soon.